My sister actually just moved to Chile last July for a year to teach English. And so I thought, well, what a great opportunity to see a different part of the world and get to see my sister. I really enjoyed it. It was great to see a different part of the world. And I think that's really important to have. I mean, if you can live longer, you can travel more. And that would be such a great, great thing. My name is Meredith Givelin, and I worked at the Buck Institute for Research on Aging this summer, and I worked in the lab of Judy Campisi. The first time I took a biology class, I was seventh grade science, and it was biology, and we did a genetics unit. I thought, this is the coolest thing. Why would anyone want to do anything else with this? And then as I just continued to take more and more science classes, I just find it fascinating that we're able to figure out all of these things that happen on the cellular level, and the fact that, you know, it's a job to try and find out more. That just seems so cool to me. If you're a girl in science, you should just, if you love it, then you should do it because it's not gonna be easy to, to be a scientist. It's a lot of hard work, but that has nothing to do with the fact that I'm a girl. It has everything to do with the fact that it's hard for guys too. It's not a, a career that's just handed to you on a silver plate. People are excited that you tell them that you're, you're a girl and you wanna do science. They're like, wow, that's really great. So having that support, you know, it's something that it should just make you want to do it more. You just have to stick with it. There's a lot of stuff about aging and getting old that's not particularly fun, so I decided to start looking for summer internships that were related to aging and aging research, and I stumbled upon the SENS Foundation on, on the internet, and their approach to the problem really drew me in and got me interested, so I applied and here I am. <laughs> the Campisi lab focuses on something called senescence. My project works specifically on a protein that's involved in the repair mechanism, so if something happens to your DNA, there's a bunch of proteins that will go in and try and fix it. And so my project focused on analyzing that protein and seeing how knocking it out and getting rid of it in the cell, what its role is in creating the SASP, that, that senescent phenotype. I think it's really important to have a balance in your life and make sure that you're not just doing something for you. You should make a difference, you should make an impact, and I really do love science. I love learning about science, I love doing research. So if I can take that and then make a difference in other people's lives, I think I think that's what it, that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, if you can live longer, you can travel more, you know, and that would be such a great, great thing. My grandmother still, you know, she's retired, she's 80 years old and is still traveling. And it's so cool to, to see that she's still finding new things and learning, learning about new places. So I would love to, to be like her and still, and still be able to do that at that age. If we can make old age uh, better, you know, you can be, it'll, it won't be an issue to be older and still be able to travel, um, which would be great.